A record number of kaka are being released in Abel Tasman National Park, but tourists are being urged not to feed the vulnerable and inquisitive native parrot. Today's release of a flock of hand-reared kaka is the latest step in re-establishing their numbers, but as Caitlin Ruddock found out, their survival depends on visitors' behaviour. When the door opens to the big wide world, the question is, who goes first? Home is now in the heart of Abel Tasman National Park for 24 kaka. It's 22,000 hectares. Uh, we needed to uh, get control over rats, stoats and uh, possums in this location. 90% of the park now has stoat traps and kaka were first reintroduced in 2015. This is the biggest release to date. 12 today, another 12 next month. Some have been captive bred in various aviaries around the country and others um, actually came from eggs and chicks that we took from wild nests. We did have some quite high, like 15 metres above the ground. Those hand-raised chicks now safe to hatch their own here. You compare it to Zealandia and Wellington where they started also with 12 birds and I think they've now tagged 750 over the last several years. But as numbers build up in the wild, so does the potential for problems. In Wellington it was people who caused the most harm to the birds' health. But we want to make sure they have a natural diet so we, want, we don't want you giving them your spare sandwich and, or encouraging them with food to come in close. Because as we found out while filming today, these birds are no strangers. Hello. I guess you've moved right on in, haven't you? The best response... Just got to quietly brush it off so gently so that it's got to move on. Educational messages are going up and tourism operators will help brief tourists to the park. If 90% of the people know it's a bad thing and then 10% of the people do it, then 90% will actually tell off the person that's doing it, which is really good. Oh, look, it's mine. Keeping the future looking bright for these colourful locals. Caitlin Rodog, One News.